I've often been asked by my friends who can't find a Bible that works for them to help them find the right Bible. Or I've been asked by a loved one uh, or a caregiver to help them find a Bible for uh, someone that they love with a disability because they're struggling to get excited about getting into God's Word. I wanted to show you a few different Bibles today, and I want to explain to you that uh, finding the right Bible is definitely not a one-size-fits-all approach. It's definitely more of a one-size-fits-most uh, approach. You see, this is my Bible. Uh, it was given to me by my parents in uh, 1988, April 10th, the day I was baptized. I got this Bible, and it has great meaning for me. Uh, it's the NIV translation, 1984. Uh, translation and uh, it's it's perfect for me uh, but I wouldn't give this or recommend this for many people uh, just because it works for me doesn't mean it works for everybody else let me go through quickly some of the Bibles that I recommend uh, I love the Adventure Bible uh, it's a great Bible it's intended for kids ages 6 to 10 uh, I highly recommend the NIRV translation uh, if you're going to go with the kids uh, adventure Bible. I love it because it's written at the third grade reading level. Because of that, it works for a lot of people uh, with different learning disabilities or different uh, disabilities. And if you're getting it uh, for someone who's not a kid that may not be real excited about some of the kids graphics, uh, you can buy the one that I bought. Uh, is one that has a kind of a leather cover uh, so it doesn't look like it's a kid's bible but it's very readable it's full color it's got a lot of different things in it that is great uh, for study and i love the nirv translation uh, if you've got somebody that loves comic books superheroes uh, and they struggle to get in God's Word, I highly recommend that you find the Action Bible. The Action Bible, the entire thing is laid out like a comic book, and that is so exciting, especially for teens, young adults, anybody that loves superheroes or comic books uh, that may struggle to get into God's Word, uh, buy them the Action Bible. They will not struggle to get into God's Word because it's visually appealing and it's laid out in a style that they uh, will like and understand. Uh, another Bible that I really, really love, it's kind of hard to find uh, in the United States uh, because it was produced by uh, the group, a group out of the UK, is the NIRV Accessible Edition New Testament. Okay, it's only the New Testament, uh, which is okay. Um, but the, what I love about it is it's printed on a real light blue tint paper. Um, the font is size 16. Uh, so it's much easier to read. You can see there are no columns in the middle of pages, so it reads more like a book. Um, the sentences are shortened a bit, and so it's easier to read. This Bible was, ex was uh, specifically created for people with disabilities, uh, and especially learning disabilities, people that maybe struggle to read, that have dyslexia. Uh, this Bible was written and designed specifically for them. And again, it's the NIRV translation, so it's an easier reading level, uh, and it's super, super easy to read for someone who has a learning disability. Highly recommend this Bible if you can get your hands on a copy. Another Bible, well, this actually isn't a Bible. I take that back. Uh, this is the Eyewitness. This is a new thing just came out. This is the Eyewitness Visual Bible Experience. Okay, it's not the Bible. It's not meant to take the place of the Bible. Uh, it's meant to supplement the Bible, and it gives you a different perspective on different Bible stories because it's written in the first person, uh, and the artwork is absolutely amazing in this book. So if you have someone who likes art, who is a visual learner, who wants to see the Bible stories from a, maybe a different perspective to dig a little deeper in it. Or maybe you have someone that kind of struggles to get excited about God's Word. Uh, and if they're an adult, uh, I would recommend maybe getting this and have them look at some of the stories here and say, hey, take a look at this. And then we'll get into the Bible uh, after that because the Bible's full of stories. This highlights only some of the most famous stories. So it's, again, not meant to take the place of a Bible. Uh, but let me warn you, this is intended for adults, okay? Uh, the Bible itself, you know, is not a PG-rated book. It's an R-rated book. Uh, this takes the perspective from adults. It has some artwork in there that you probably wouldn't want 
uh, kids to see. So, but it's a great, great uh, supplemental piece. Uh, another Bible that I recommend for uh, parents of children with disabilities, uh, volunteers working in disability ministry, or anybody that works in disability ministry is the Beyond Suffering Bible. Uh, created by Johnny and Friends. This is a great, great Bible that highlights all the different scriptures in the Bible that have anything to do with disability, has different connection points, it has devotionals written by Johnny Erickson Tata. Uh, it's a great, great Bible. It's the NLT translation, which is another good translation. So anybody working in disability ministry should get a uh, Beyond Suffering Bible. Um, people often ask me too, uh, what are your favorite translations? If you're working in disability ministry or with someone who has a disability or learning disability, highly recommend, again, the NIRV, the New International Reader's Version. If not the NIRV, I really like the ERV. It's the Easy Reader's Version. Super easy to understand, uh, written at a lower reading level, so it's easy to take in God's Word. Uh, we don't want to confuse people with language that they're not familiar with using uh, or that they don't typically use, like the these and the thous and all the other different uh, type of language uh, that you see in some of the other translations. Now, uh, you might say, well, what about somebody who uh, is, is deaf? What can we do for them? There is a great free app online called The Deaf Bible. Uh, you can download it for free in any of the different app stores. Uh, and it is translated in like, I think, 26 different countries uh, where the entire Bible is signed out for you in those different translations from those 26 different countries. So I highly recommend the Deaf Bible app uh, that you can download for free. Another great um, online resource, because I understand most people don't use paper Bibles anymore. Most people are using it on their smartphone or their tablet or their desktop. Uh, if you're one of those people that like to read online or on your device, uh, you can't go wrong with the Bible app that's put out by you version, okay? And version has every single translation uh, that you could ever imagine. So you can pick the one that fits best for you and you can read God's word in the Bible app. There are different, there's a, the verse of the day, there's daily devotionals, there's reading plans, there's all kinds of great stuff. And I think it's been translated into over 1200 different languages. So no matter what language you speak, uh, the Bible app by version is perfect uh, for everyone. So again, Finding the right Bible that works for you is more of a one size fits kind of most approach. You gotta try them out, you gotta work with people, you gotta know with who you're working with and fits, find something that fits them best because you want them to be excited about getting into God's Word. You don't want them to struggle uh, trying to read and understand God's Word uh, because God's Word is so rich and uh, so rewarding and it, it's meant to build us up and help us grow closer to God. Uh, so find the Bible that works the best for whoever you're working with or for yourself for that matter. Hopefully some of these recommendations are helpful for you uh, as you get excited about getting into God's Word.